Hello and welcome to Nofa, New Jersey's second annual Festim Festimato. We wish that you could be here with us tasting and looking at these beautiful tomatoes from all across the state, but we're doing our best to bring you the full New Jersey experience and I'm gonna give you a little guide, a little way to see and taste without being here. We're at North Slope Farm in Lambertville, West Amwell, New Jersey. And thanks to Mike for hosting us here at North Slope Farm. And thank you to all of our participating farmers who have given us some delicious and beautiful tomatoes for us to sample today. So thank you to Cherry Grove Organic, to Muth Family Farm, Savoy Farm, Jeff's Organic Farm, North Slope, Martinet and Chickadee Creek Farm, and I hope you enjoy our little festimato via your computer. Hello, I'm Gabby. I am a farm-to-table tomato lover and friend of Nofa, New Jersey, and I'm going to start our little virtual tomato tour today with all of our little friends, our cherries, our grapes, our salad snackers, and let you know what I think. So I'm gonna start with this beautiful tie-dye-like tomato. This is called a Sunrise Bumblebee. It has a reddish, yellowish, orange kind of tie-dye effect. And it's pretty firm, so I would say this could hold up well for a couple of days. Um, a tomato that's very soft, you, you could assume that, uh, you know, flies might come or it might not last too long. So I can feel this has a nice firmness, a good water content inside. I'm gonna slice it open. You can take a look inside. Really nice and juicy, beautiful. This is not an over the top, super sweet tomato, but it has a great classic tomato flavor. I'm gonna go to another tomato of a similar, um, color coloration it's called a blush tomato also nice firm texture that's the inside these are more um oblong they are larger than a classic cherry tomato um, they have a similar amount of water content inside so you could use this for a salsa as well something that you're using a, a fresh dish for so This also, not an overwhelming sweetness, but really nice juicy texture, not overly acidic. Delicious. Next, what I have here is a, a pink boar tomato. This has a beautiful greenish coloration with a dark red. Um, I could see this in a fresh salsa or, you know, if you're making a mini caprese salad. So this has a, a pretty thin wall. It's not as thick as the sunrise or the blush. And this isn't as soft and silky as the first two that I tried, but it has a nice tang to it. And since it's a little more firm, I would say using this in a salad would also be great. And a salsa. I'm gonna go with our uh, grape tomatoes, we have a red and a yellow grape tomato. They both look exactly the same, just the color is different. They're both pretty nice and firm, so I could say these would hold up for maybe, you know, two or three days outside of refrigeration. Then after that, you'd want to put them in something in a soup or uh, something to keep them in the fridge or throw them in your sauce. These are our grapes here. So I'll start with the, the yellow. So this, it's not overly um, tomato-y. It's pretty mild, it tastes like the earth. I would also put this in a salsa or dip it in hummus or drizzle some pesto on top or put it on a tart. So this is an, one that I don't see too often, the uh, Sakura cherry tomato. This has a deeper pink color and looks the same throughout. So these, Hmm. Have a really 
nice tomato flavor to them. Also a pretty firm texture, but softer than the other guys. That's a, that's a good one, I like that one. That's all I can say about that. Um, so the last of our cherry mini salad snacker varieties is the Sun Peach Cherry. It has a similar color to the uh, Sakura, a little more reddish than pink. Let's see what this guy looks like when I cut him open. Mm. So this is a, probably the sweetest of the cherry tomatoes besides the Sun Gold, which I'll get to next. This is very delicate, fleshy. Um, I'd say there's a really nice balance of um, wall to water inside. Yeah, really lovely, soft, little delicate cherry tomato. So the last of the cherries that we're gonna try today is the classic Sun Gold, and Mike just picked that for us before we started. I and mean, as I cut it open, it's so soft and delicate. Um, it has a greenish hue on the inside. Um, and this is like your candy sweet tomato. When you think of a Jersey sweet cherry tomato, I would think of this one. It's very acidic and also very sweet. Would be beautiful in a salsa as well, or a little tart, or even if you wanted to put it in a gazpacho, a cold tomato soup. So those are our cherries. Hey, I'm Mike from North Slope Farm here at the West Windsor Community Farmers Market. Thanks for coming out to buy your tomatoes. We've got heirloom corsalos, sun gold cherry tomatoes, renowned for their delicious flavor, and lots of other yummy veggies. Flowers too. I've got a couple of our favorite tomatoes here today. There's Dixie Lee Golden Giant. Um, so this one I love because it's like a mango color inside and it's almost like a, the fleshiness of a mango, but with a really awesome sweet tomato taste. I'd say probably my next favorite one is German Johnson. So this I love because it's like a heartier brandy wine. Brandy wine, everybody's all about the brandy wine. German Johnson is more likely to perform as a tomato plant and gives, just give you loads of like awesome, sweet, full-bodied flavored, um, like that really nice balance between acid and sugar, a great slicing tomato. And then everybody's all about the Sun Gold cherry tomatoes. I actually think the Sun Peach cherry tomato is the way to go. It's a little bit less obnoxiously sweet. Um, so I know everybody, you know, they're really good if they're sweet like candy, that's the sun gold. But then if you're into something slightly more mellow, a little bit more versatile, I'd say the sun peach is the way to go. So those are the three that I'd say are um, the stellar tomato varieties that I would talk about. So we go to six weekly farmer's markets, one of which is here, the Pennington Farmer's Market, but we're also in Princeton at Cook's Market in New Brunswick. We're at the Summit Farmer's Market, the Denville Farmer's Market, the Metuchen Farmer's Market. One of the interesting things we're doing these days is allowing all customers to pre-order ahead of time, free of charge, in order to keep the crowds down and to do our part for the whole pandemic management thing. So that's the other thing, go to an online store, check it out from our website. So another thing about the cherry tomatoes from a farm and garden perspective, you may get your cherries before your other big uh, beef steaks or heirlooms because um, they're smaller, so uh, you'll get more at once. That You might find some tiny ones ripening before uh, you know, in a bushel, you can pick them off early. So it's great to have them. If you have one pot and you wanna grow one thing, maybe a cherry tomato is the way to go. You'll get more, more bang for your buck for uh, quantity. <laughs>